everybody, it's Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. I'm back with a new video for you today, and guess what? Today's a double feature, and bonus, it is a flashcard. I know a lot of you love creating with the flashcard system. If you're not familiar with what a flashcard is, you can click the link up there in the top corner and learn more about that. But today's card is going to feature the Frosted Foliage stamp set. Now, it is a Christmas stamp set, but not to worry. We're gonna be creating a Christmas card and we're gonna create a friendship card. So this is a great stamp that's gonna carry you long after the holidays. So I say we get started with our double, double feature. Let's go. All right, for today's double feature, um, I'm gonna start with the Christmas card and we're going to be working with Mary Merlot cardstock. This is one of my favorite reds. I have my cardstock cut four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half inches. That means it'll fit into one of our medium sized envelopes. My flashcard pieces are in very vanilla and shaded spruce. Very vanilla is cut two and a half inches by four inches and shaded spruce two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And ribbon makes everything better. I have the shaded spruce and you notice it's got a really great gold uh, stripe going through there. And that is all we need is just a little ribbon knot, just a little bit and a little dab will do ya. The star of the show is definitely the frosted foliage stamp set. Now what I love about this set is I'm going to be able to use it after the holidays are over. Okay, maybe not the sending a little Yuletide cheer and the snowflakes and the season full of family and friends, but you know what? These three images here and the sentiment, it's gonna work perfect for some additional cards. And if you'll stick around, I've got a double feature featuring this card as a friendship card one ink pad. That is all we're going to use on this card. So if you're a beginner stamper, this card is going to be perfect. I've got my sentiment sending you a little Yuletide cheer. I'm going to stamp that here in the bottom right corner of my very vanilla. I'll then come in with that great little berry stamp. And let me just rotate my cardstock because I want that stem to just come right just over to the left of my sentiment. I'm also going to take that berry image and I'm going to stamp it here in the left corner and the bottom right corner. Let's do some coloring. You can either use Stampin' Blends or a Stampin' Write marker. Now my blends, um, I'm actually using Light and Dark Cherry Cobbler. So I've got a little fun trick to share. Um, let me show you, can you see that there are some little highlights on each berry? I'm gonna use those to my advantage and I'm gonna start with the dark blend. And I'm simply going to just give myself some little dots of this dark, cherry cobbler wherever there's a highlight. Trust me when I say it's not about perfection because when we use the Stampin' Blends, we're going to start to blend the alcohol that is in this dark color. Let me show you what I mean. So now I've got the light and I'm just gonna come right over and start to blend these together. What happens is the alcohol from the dark and the alcohol from the light they just blend together perfectly, and it's gonna give us a nice highlight on each of these berries. And there we go. I hope you can see that great highlight going on there. All right, let's put our card together. A little snail on the back of my shaded spruce. I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals to the uh, stamped image, our great focal image. I think we're gonna need about six. So we'll do three on one side, three on the other. We can remove the backing and we'll add that to the front of our card. Now, I like to doll up my cards just a little bit more, especially for the holidays. And for that, I'm going to use some of our adhesive backed pearls. Watch this. I'm gonna take my Stampin' Blend and I'm just gonna color three of these pearls. This is gonna make just a great little statement on my card. I can now pick those up. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. Uh, they might still be just a little bit wet, so we wanna be a little careful. We'll just add, do you see? Do you see how that's just making um, just a real nice, kind of giving a little shimmer, a little pearlized look? I think it's beautiful. Let's put our last one here. So pretty. Now we'll come in with that ribbon knot. I'm going to use a mini glue dot press the knot right onto the glue dot, lift it off, and it's going to sit right there in the corner. Now, this is a flash card, 
but this Mary Merlot is gonna be very difficult to write on. So I have a piece of very vanilla, four inches by five and a quarter. I'll come back in with my shaded spruce and we're going to use that little leafy image there and my sentiment right there. And now we can just adhere that right inside our card. And that is a very simple Christmas card. Now, I told you I had a double feature. Let me share with you how we're gonna create a friendship card. My measurements are exactly the same, but I'm changing up the colors. So I have Highland Heather. This is cut four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. My flashcard pieces are in Whisper White and Purple Posy. Whisper White, two and a half inches by four inches. Purple Posy, two and three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter. We're also going to bring in some of the Purple Posy scalloped ribbon. Love this. I, so for my sentiment, I chose to use the Strong and Beautiful stamp set. I love this one. I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. A really great sentiment. I stamped in the exact same way. I used a gorgeous, great ink pad because I like the three tones of purple on this card. I'll stamp my little berry images just like I did on my first card. And I'm going to use the Purple Posy uh, Stampin' Blends. Do you remember what I taught you just now about starting with the dark? We're gonna do that exact same technique. I've laid the dark Stampin' Blend down. Now I'll just come in and blend away with the light Purple Posy. I just love how this gorgeous grape really pops um, up against that light purple posy. It's so pretty. All right, let me set that off to the side. And just like we did before, I'm gonna take the dark purple posy. And these are really light, but they sure look pretty. We'll get three of our pearls. And with Stampin' Dimensionals on the back, add my focal image. And of course, our beautiful uh, scalloped purple posy ribbon down there in the corner. And the same way we just did the inside of our Christmas card, we're just going to change it to thank you for always being there for me. And there we go. Today's double feature, Christmas card, friendship card, birthday card. You're going to have a lot of fun with this extremely simple layout. There you go. So whether you need to get started on your Christmas cards or you want to be able to create a very simple friendship card, this layout is fantastic. And like I said, it can be done for birthdays or thinking of you or sympathy. I mean, this layout is oh so simple. We like simple around here, don't we? Now, if you want more information about the cards, here's what you can do. Head over to simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the October 26th 2019 blog post. That's where all the details about the cards, the measurements, and the supplies that I use will be there as well. And if you'd like to order any of the supplies that I use, it's easy. Click a pick. It'll take you right to my online store and you can order what you need right there. Guys, I would be so thrilled to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Also, if you like the idea of flashcards, but you don't like the idea of cutting, I also have available for you flashcards to go. This is where everything is cut and scored. You're going to have 40 cards in an assortment of colors. You're going to get your flashcards and flashcard 2.0 pieces along with 40 envelopes. Everything you need to make 40 cards and you'll be ready to go. All you got to do is get to stamping. It's a lot of fun. You can order flashcards to go right there at simplysimplestamping.com. Just look in the blue menu bar for flashcards and you can learn all about that. All right, my friends, that's all for me today. I hope you enjoyed the cards. If you did, I would love a thumbs up on YouTube. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already taken a moment to subscribe, today's a great day to do that. Just click that great big red subscribe button and we'll add you to the list and YouTube will give you a notification whenever I'm back with a new video. Guys, have a fantastic day. I look forward to stamping with you again soon. Bye-bye. <music>